Vicente, congratulations on winning Player of the Month for December, voted for by the fans. How do you feel about that? Thank you. Now, uh, one more. more. Uh, it's important, no? Important because uh, a lot of points and difficult games, uh, difficult uh, points. I'm very, very happy uh, the save for point. Dean, always a good moment when one of your keepers wins Player of the Month. Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously voted for by uh, by the Crystal Palace fans. So um, yeah, they uh, they see the games and they see the the input from the players. So uh, yeah, from my point of view, it's um, it's always nice and positive for a goalkeeper to get a, an accolade like that. The game that everyone does remember is the Tottenham game. For you, one of your best performances. I think uh, the team and, and all the players are uh, very, very good. Uh, good uh, with good work, uh, one point, important against Tottenham, first uh, on the table. And now it's uh, always a uh, difficult game, no? against uh, Leicester, against uh, another week with Seafield. Important all, all the games, all, all the weeks, and all the trainings. When you play them teams, them type of teams, or the supposedly bigger and, and better teams, as a goalie, you probably rock up thinking that you know you're going to be busy, and he certainly was. Uh, made a real positive contribution, made some really important saves, and uh, when it always um, correlates that you get some points from the game, then that's a good uh, that's a good day. Now I'm just going to show you uh, what we thought three of the best saves were. He didn't get caught out by that cross. That was obviously a misplaced cross that came off the crossbar. It's where it goes after that, and for him to regain his shape and get his uh, get his balance back. Um, to be ready for the next one uh, is really, really important. And the good thing about Vicente is he's so quick and so agile that if he is ever out of shape, he repairs that shape really quickly. And that, that's a top, top reaction save. Listen, standard stuff for a goalkeeper is when the wall's like that, first and foremost, you have to look after your side. You know, it's, in, it's imperative you don't get beat the side you're, you're uh, defending. But thereafter, once you see it go the other way, you know, you've got to get a real quick step in which he does, and then that thrust and that power, um, I mean, that's a top, top save because that is, that's right in the top corner. With the rule with the line and with VAR, has that changed the, what you have to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, last year is no, no problem, you one, uh, one metre in, uh, in front, now it's only on the line. It's difficult because when you save, I don't know, uh, repeat or, or come back, uh, or it's OK the, the, the save, no? But it's important because it's good save, uh, good, uh, good uh, one point against Leicester. And now it's uh, one point more. It's obviously more of a lateral movement now. You can't really step out on top, which is a natural. Uh, you know, you normally step in, and that's positive to try and make a save. But moving forward, but that's now you can't do that. The process is we have somebody collate all those penalties for us. Um, we sit and work through them, and then we have a, a plan of where we think the uh, opponent will put it. So it's one thing knowing it, but obviously it's another thing getting there. And obviously Vicente uh, executed that fantastically well. So uh, credit to him. For you as a goalkeeper, what was it like playing in that game against Liverpool when there wasn't much you could do, was there? Well, uh, it's difficult, no? Uh, against Liverpool is an uh, amazing, amazing game. Uh, for me, it's the first time seven goals. Uh, the important clean. The you had because next week is one one game more is important next game. Please don't for a minute, as for me as a football coach, think that I'm swayed or bothered by supporters, outside perceptions, media pundits, because I'm not. Um, I believe in a process in terms of delivering goalkeepers, and that's not just for Sente. That's all the goalkeepers under my um, sort of duty of care, if you will. Is uh, the process is mentally, physically getting them right and prepared for the game and the fans will see the outcome as just simply the scoreline as a coach that can't be the end, end point for me that's just the start so um, no you keep working away um, you help them out you provide a, a positive framework and environment for them to work from and Vicente regardless of a, a, a real thrashing off Liverpool or a, a victory against Sheffield United our process remains the same I trust implicitly my process and I trust the senior goalkeepers who are, who are in it to go and perform and I think I think over the time that they've, they've made a real good uh, contribution to this football club. And I saw you got the beers from Lionel Messi, yep. uh, are you going to drink them? Yeah, uh, well, I, 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 don't, I don't like um, 
beer, but my family uh, five beers. Uh, the Bike Bolzer is uh, my family is uh, be happy, be happy because uh, good beer.